to the video. Alright. It was a late more, I got moonless you. snowy night. I heard the chilling cry of a bobcat as I arrived home Is that straight? from my parents' house. Is that where straight? We had just had Thanksgiving dinner in northern Michigan. Exhausted, I had finally All made right. it to my bed when my pregnant girlfriend asked for nacho cheese munchies. Reluctantly, I laced up my boots and went to my car. I remember Due to the cold, it took me a while to start the car, which only made me more irritated. But eventually I got it started, and I arrived at the convenience store to retrieve my girlfriend's mandated snacks. As I left the store, walking back towards my car, I saw a shadow of movement out of the corner of my eye. What looked like a person stood near the dumpster, just out of the light. I stepped towards the figure, and she looked at me with a giant sinister smile. Her face was so Bruh. weathered, it looked like she had cracks all over her face. She was crouched down and appeared to be uh. chewing on something. I looked to see what she was chewing on. To my surprise, said, Is that TK? it was a what? arm. It looked old, as if it had been rotting for weeks. I saw her glance hey, at something yo. in her pocket. I could see the outline of what looked like a pocket knife. As soon as I looked back up, she quickly charged me. Oh my! I pushed her away and then ran back to the convenience store. I burst through the door and frantically yelled towards Hold the on. cashier to call the police as I turned to lock it. He asked me, What's going on? I scowled at him and said, Please, just call the cops. I looked back outside and saw the woman had moved across the street and was still scrutinizing me as she maintained her malevolent grin. Look, there's a girl out there who's trying to kill me. Looking over me, he replied, I don't see anyone out there, sir. Those words shook me, even to this what? day. When the police reached the gas Cap. station, they began looking around for the woman while one of the officers asked me what had happened, and I told him the details of the encounter. One of the officers came back and said he couldn't find anything. I then took them back to where I first noticed her. We spent a few minutes intently searching, but there was no proof she was ever even there. The officer cocked his head and looked at me, as if I was deranged, and asked me in a judgmental tone, Are you feeling okay? I was about to defend myself, and then I started to think. I am tired, and I have had a couple of drinks, so I just told him, Yes, sir. Sorry for bothering you. I hope you have a nice night. And then I drove home. I got home at around 4 o'clock in the morning. My nigga said do her shirt drip. What do you mean do her shirt drip, nigga? What the fuck, ya bum bitch? Girlfriend greeted me with an angered but concerning tone of voice. She asked me, Where were you? Are you okay? So I told her everything that happened. Of course, she didn't believe me. I couldn't get to sleep that night. I sat in my bed questioning my sanity, wondering if it was all even real. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm just tired. But no, that can't be it. I, I saw it. But if I saw it, why was there no proof? Where did the arm go? Where did she go? Before I knew it, it was 7 in the morning, and I had to go to work. I threw on my jacket as I was about to head to the construction site, and I put my hand in my pocket and noticed that there was a hole in it. It wasn't there the other day. I thought, what if she caught my jacket as I ran? Which further proves my suspicion that she was real. I couldn't believe it. My mind Yo, completely went- Yo, now that I think about it- why does the wife or a girlfriend look like the girl that was trying to kill him? Maybe I'm thinking too deep. Maybe I'm thinking too deep. Maybe I'm thinking too deep. But like, bro, am I lying? Like, she looked like a cleaner version. Wild. Until my girlfriend kissed me goodbye. I told my friends at work what had happened. I'm onto something. I could be. Listen. They made Detective jokes. Simi had IQ, nigga. Detective Simi. This is Detective Simi talking. It's about it the entire day. But I had my bowling tournament that day, so that gave me something to look for. Yo, chat. My fault for pausing, but now that I know I can play the game like this, 
You know how often I'm not about to have this cam? I mean, like, the lights flashing on me OD. Like, now I know it. I, I forgot it fits my cam. But, yeah. Forward to they all look the same, nigga. I got hey, listen, I might be on a jacket up and rapidly put on my bowling shoes and got my bowling ball. My girlfriend looked at me with a pleasant smile and said, When will you be back? Probably around 11. When am I dropping another video? In like two days or tomorrow. I won't. Don't worry. At around 10.30, the tournament had finally finished and we had won. I was so thrilled I had forgotten about the woman. As we were leaving, mm. I noticed something at the other end of the parking lot. It was that psychotic woman. Hey. We stared at each other for what felt like an eternity. She slowly started moving towards me while waving her knife in the air and making cuts. I quickly jumped into my car and turned it on. As I looked up, I saw she was standing oh in my front gosh. of me, staring at me. She slowly walked over to my window and she said in a quiet, deep, and scratchy voice. Little pig, little pig. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Hell no, nigga. Mm, I'll be down. I'll be down. I'll be down. Let me in. I was frozen in fear, but I snapped back to reality when she banged on the roof of my car, screaming. I quickly slammed my foot on the accelerator and didn't let off it until I couldn't see her anymore. When I arrived home, I told my girlfriend what had happened. Like last time, she didn't believe me. I Why is it, bro, if your girl don't believe you, if, if your life on the line, you telling her your life on the line, bro, get a new girl. Oh my goodness, I don't care what state she in, bro. There's no reason. If you saying your life is in danger, nigga, and she's saying she don't believe you, Get out of there. Like, no, bro. I'm just not letting that happen. Fuck no. I'll be... I'll be there. I'll be there. I ain't gonna lie to you. Thought I was hey, insane. you can't lie to me, though. Tell me I didn't just hit that vocal. Tell me I didn't just hit that vocal. Tell me I didn't just hit that shit. Come on, now. But I tried to forget about it and get some sleep. Later that night, I woke up and saw her Look who said room. you didn't, though. Omar, All like, come on, bro. Let me in over and over as she got closer she then started shouting let me in let me in let me in let me in come on paul stop being difficult let me i told you i told you world my girlfriend hadn't heard this going on wait 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 not in wait 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 was right next to me and held up a knife to me that's when i fainted I woke startled in my room, dripping with sweat. Then I remembered I don't have a girlfriend. I told you! Oh my, bro, I told you, bro. Y'all were saying lazy animators and all that, bro. I told you, bro. Nor a house or a family. Come on, Paul. Time for your morning meds. Let me in. Slap her twice. Slap her three times, mm. hit her with the right hook, <laughs> now she ain't mine.